Hi, I'm Brittany Forrest, and welcome back to Get Fit STL right here on STL TV. Joining me today is Kelly Rue with Rue Studio. Thank you for joining oh, us, thank Kelly. you. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So tell us, what are we going to be doing today? Well, a lot of people have these at home. They have no idea what to do with them, so we well, are going to do a little core and myofascial release self-massage on the foam roller today. Okay. Is this Pilates? We are definitely going to be doing Pilates. Okay. Um, but, you know, if you've done any mat Pilates, you're going to be able to kind of recognize some of the stuff. We're just adding a prop today. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's get right to Let's it. Let's go for it. Okay, we're going to put this down lengthwise on your mat, long ways. All right. We're going to sit down. Our tush is going to be supported. You're going to lie right down just on the mat. Okay, head supported. Now here's a little trick. Ankles, knees, and hips right in line. Your hands, the closer they are to the bolster, the way harder it's gonna be because you are shortening your base. If you need more help, put your arms out to the side. And all I want you to do now is keep your tummy engaged, keep your navel pulled into your spine a little bit, and just go side to side to give yourself a little bit of lumbar release. Okay? Now, if you notice, when you go side to side, your hips drop down. So we're going to call this the frowny face. This is going to actually stretch out the front of your hips. If you would like to stretch out the back of your hips, when you go side to side, lift the hip to the ceiling and do a smiley face. And that'll stretch out the back of your hips, okay? That is your choice, whatever you're comfortable with. We're gonna land in the middle here, okay? Now if you notice your lower back, I do not want it pressed into the bolster or the roller, I call it the bolster. Okay, so modern day exercise tells us to push our back into the mat. I don't want you to do that. I want your pelvis to be nice and flat with the ceiling. We're gonna take our hands, put them behind our head, we're gonna put our pinky finger and ring finger on the back of our skull, the middle finger and index finger on your neck and your thumbs on your jaw. And you're just gonna cradle your head here. Now drop your chin. We're gonna do tiny crunches. So what I want you to do is keep your low back lifted off the mat. We call this the mouse house, okay? So don't close your mouse house. Exhale, squeeze your tummy and curl up one, slowly release down. Exhale, crunch up for two. Inhale down, compress your abs, crunch up three. Release down. Exhale up for four. Release down, we're doing 10. Exhale up five. Release down, keep your elbows open. Exhale up six. Release down. Again, exhale up seven. Now, I will forewarn you, I am the worst counter in the world. Eight. So somebody might want to take over for me on that one. Nine. And the last time, compress those abs. And 10, release down. Arms side to side. And you're gonna rock back and forth, whether frowny face or smiley face. So that's upper abs, okay? We're gonna find our happy middle, and you're gonna bring one foot up, the other foot up, and you're going to pull your tummy in so the low back now presses into the mat, or the bolster, okay? So I say belt loops to the bolster. You're gonna hold it here. You're gonna slowly lower one foot as far as you can keep your belt loops touching the roller. Squeeze your belly, pull the knee back up. And again, low other side, exhale, pull it up. Your legs are nice and heavy and relaxed. Exhale up, inhale down. Exhale, pull those tummies in and lift that leg. And down, exhale up and down. Exhale, up. stop here. You're gonna keep the belt loops pressed into the bolster. You're gonna straighten both legs. One, exhale, bring it in. Inhale out, two. If, you're, if it's more helpful for you to exhale when your legs are straight, that's fine. As long as you're breathing, we don't care. Take it out, keep those belt loops in the roller. Two more. Last time. Feet down, side to side. You'll come to really like the side to side part. 
All right. Find your happy middle. We're gonna keep the belt loops lifted off the bolster so we have our mouse house present. It's called the lordotic curve. You're gonna lift a leg. If you can straighten it out, that's fine. I don't care how high the leg is. Okay, it's, it's how straight the leg is as long as you are able to keep the belt loops from touching. You're gonna circle the leg so now your knee becomes a marker. We're gonna draw circles on the ceiling. And here's the trick, you do not move your bolster at all. So your head's 12 o'clock and your foot is six o'clock. So you're gonna inhale from 12 to six, shh, exhale from six to 12. If you wanna make this harder, move your hands closer to the bolster. You wanna make it really hard, lift your hands up. Reverse. Keep the tummy tight. We're not gonna move the bolster at all. This roller has a way of telling you when you're doing it wrong immediately. Last time, and we're gonna switch feet. Ready? Taking it to the outside first. Inhale out and down, exhale up and in. Drawing nice circles. You may take it as big as you can keep the bolster still. So if you need to do tiny circles, by all means do so. And we're gonna reverse it. Inhale down, exhale up. Five, last time, and six. Feet down, side to side. Again, making sure to do the frowny face or the happy face. We're gonna come up off the bolster. Before I warn you, there is no graceful way to get off of this. So go ahead and come on up to sitting. You're gonna sit with your knees bent, feet on the floor, arms out in front of you. Sitting nice and tall. We're gonna add the Pilates aspect to this. If you think your pelvis, ribs, and head are boxes, you wanna stack your boxes and separate them as much as possible. Arms out in front. Lean back a little bit to roll off your tailbone and without losing height, tuck your tailbone and roll halfway back. Now exhale, round forward, up and over and push the bolster forward. Exhale, curl, tuck your tailbone, roll back, arms stay straight, exhale, round forward. And curl back, exhale forward. That should feel pretty good on the back. Exhale forward, and last time. We're gonna add a little ditty to it. Put your bolster down, feet right here. Arms are gonna be out in front. You're gonna exhale, curl back as you push your feet out and hold. Drop your arm, rotate to your right. Drop your arm, sit straight up. Again, lean, tuck, roll back to the left. Sit straight up. A curl back right, and up. Exhale, keeping nice and tall, and up. Take your head with you, don't leave it. I call this the 1950s senior picture pose. Chin up, look back at the back corner. One more time, on the left, and up, and come on down. All right, we're gonna roll over onto our belly. All right, kneecaps and toenails are gonna touch the floor. Your hands are gonna be on the bolster. Push forward and lie down. Now, when you're on the floor here, it's real easy to give into gravity and just allow the, the torso to give in to the floor. Pull the belly button up to the ceiling and you'll notice your lower back opens up and lengthens. You'll feel more pressure on the top of your thighs you wanna keep that throughout. So let's start off with some shoulder shrugs here. So we're gonna elevate the shoulder blades and we're gonna push the bolster forward. Now pull the armpits down to the toes and your shoulder blades will go down. Inhale, elevate the shoulders. Exhale, depress the shoulders. Shoulder blades go up, shoulder blades go down. Shoulder blades go up, 
shoulder blades go down. Now make sure your neck is lengthened, tummy's tight, push the bolster forward. This time when your shoulders come down, you're gonna lift the rib cage up off the mat. Keep the arms straight and release down. Feet stay on the mat, shoulder blades come down. Inhale, lift the chest about three inches. Shoulder blades come down. Exhale, release down. Inhale, lift. Keep that tummy tight. Exhale, down. So just like the prowl of a ship. Inhale, lift. We all saw Titanic. Do the kick of the world right here. Release down. Inhale and lift. Release down. One more time. Inhale and lift. Release down. Let's rise up onto all fours. Come on up. All right, so this is a fun one. You're gonna roll forward, put your hands on the bolster, roll out, go into a cow belly. Tuck your tailbone, go through cat stretch, and rise on up. And we're gonna do it again. Roll down, cat stretch, tuck your tailbone, roll up. Do it two more times at your own pace. This is one of those feel good ones. I always like to give my clients a feel good one where they can just relax, stop at what I call the juicy parts. Where does it feel the best to you? And we're gonna do it again. Nice. All right. We're gonna go back to long ways. Okay, we're gonna do an abdominal superset. Yay. Okay. All right, you're gonna bring your knees up, pull your tummy in so that your low back drops into the bolster and you're gonna hold it there. Your job is to not wiggle back and forth. You're gonna kick one leg out at a time. One and two. So here's the secret. The lower your legs are, the harder it's gonna be on your abs. Six. You can go as low as you can keep your lower back pressed into the bolster. Last set, feet down, side to side. All right, right arm up, right leg up, left arm up. You're gonna straighten out. The, le the right leg, the left arm is going to go overhead. You're going to lift up, karate chop. One, inhale up, exhale, inhale, open up, exhale. Getting a little bit of oblique work here. Keeping the torso nice and tight and the bolster still. Two more. Last time. Foot down, we're gonna go to the other side. Left leg comes up, right arm goes overhead, straighten the left leg. Here we go, exhale, one. Make sure you're contracting the abs about a split hair second right before you start moving. That guarantees that you have the stability coming from your torso and lower abs instead of gripping in the hip socket to do the work. Leg remains heavy and loose. Anybody know what number we're on? <laughs> okay, <laughs> nine, okay, and <laughs> 10. Foot down, side to side. I told you, y'all gotta count. All right, so this is a fun one. Hands are gonna go behind the head in that position we were in earlier with the ring finger and pinky on the skull, other fingers on the neck and on the jaw. And what that is is if you feel tension in the neck, you have disengaged your upper abs and you're straining your neck to do the job. You're gonna curl up, you're gonna rotate to the right, come back to center, but you're not gonna lie all the way down. Exhale, curl up left. 
and down. Again, compress the abs, rotate right and down. Exhale, rotate left and down. If you want to add some variety and make it a little bit more challenging, when you go to the right, karate chop with the left hand. And down, karate chop, opposite hand. One more time each side. Last time. Lie on down, side to side. Okay, both knees up into tabletop. This time we are gonna go into the lower back, is gonna press into the foam roller. Again, the higher the feet are to the ceiling, the easier. The lower the legs are to the floor, the harder. You can go as low as you can keep your back into the roller. Both legs are gonna press out, they're gonna bring it in. Press out, now don't go so low that you're not gonna be able to do the next exercise, which you might end up not liking me too much for in a minute, but when it's all over, you'll love me again, I promise. All right, we're gonna press it out, we're gonna hold, we're gonna flutter our legs, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, inhale, keep that tummy tight, and exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four. Last set, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Knees in, feet down, side to side. We're gonna roll off the bolster again, come to sitting. You all wanna face this way? We can totally do that. Arms out to the side, uh, to the front, sorry. Rotate the rib cage one, a little bit more, a little bit more, back to the center. Rotate, a little bit more, a little bit more. Think of yourself as the top of a soda bottle, and as you're unscrewing the soda bottle, the top, it goes up to the ceiling. So lift a little bit more, a little bit more, back to the center, one more time each side. Back to center, last time. Back to center. We're gonna lie the bolster down. This time your legs are gonna go apart. Rotate it outward so that your kneecaps and toenails face the sides of the room. And you're gonna rest your wrists on here. All right, if you have any low back issues, this might not be the best one for you, okay? Depending on what your doctor or therapist told you. Rotate your legs outward and apart. You're gonna slide your shoulder blades down like we did earlier, keeping your tummy tight and your low back lengthened. Roll up as far as you can keep from feeling it in your lower back. Pull the tummy in and go down. So we don't want to feel it in the lower back. You wanna feel it up around the rib cage. Inhale, lift, she'll pull those shoulders back. Exhale and down. Inhale, and a lot of people think this is a low back exercise. Really, it's not. It's a mid back exercise. Inhale up. Exhale and down. One more time. And down. All right, now we're gonna get to some fun stuff. We're gonna roll over and put this on our shoulders. Right on our shoulder blade. Okay, you're gonna lift your tush up and you're gonna roll back and forth. Just give yourself a nice little massage. This feels pretty good, don't you think? Now what we're gonna do is we're going with the striations of the muscle. You're gonna stop at any point you'd like and you're gonna scratch your back just like a dog would on the carpet. This is called shearing the muscle, okay? And you're gonna go back to the uh, a different point and you're gonna do the same thing again. And come back to center and rock back and forth. Okay, do you have another place you wanna do? I'm gonna go up a little bit higher here. Last time, find another spot. You can do this all the way down your body. 
Come back to center and roll down. Okay, we're gonna put our feet on the bolster and we're gonna lie all the way down. You're gonna pick your right leg up into tabletop. You're gonna straighten your left leg. And you'll notice your heel rolls over the top of the roller. You're gonna push your lower back down into the ground. So we're in what we call an imprinted position. Belt loops touch the ground. You're gonna bicycle. Exhale, one, and in, and two, and in, and three, and in, four. You may have to adjust the foot on the bolster. That's fine. Seven, last time, and eight. We're gonna switch feet. Lower back still into the mat and straighten out that right leg. Here we go. One, and two, and three, and four, six, and eight. Bring it back in, roll the bolster up underneath you. Put your feet smack dab on top, arms down by your side. Now we're gonna do shoulder bridge. You're gonna squeeze your tush, lift your hips up in the air. Everybody knows how to do that, but I want you to also think of lifting your ribs. Keep your ribs in line with your pelvis. Exhale, press up one, and down. Squeeze the tush, two, and down. Three, down, four, Five, and six. Tiny pulses, stay up here, pulse to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six. You may hold it there if you wanna make it harder. Pulse your heels to your rear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Come on down. Straighten out your legs, grab your right leg. Keep it straight, pull it towards you. And switch. We're gonna come up to sitting. Final. This is called mermaid. But you're going to put your hand here. Sitting in this position, if this is uncomfortable for you, you may sit tailor style, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna sit here. We're gonna lift up, roll over. Inhale, lift, and come back. And we're gonna do it again. And up. This time we're gonna add a little twist, hold it here, rotate both hands on the bolster, and push out further. Roll back as you lift the chest to the ceiling, and push out one more time. Come back up, rotate back to the front, and we're gonna switch sides. And press out, up and over. Up and in. And again. And this time we're gonna add that twist. Rotate, press out, and roll up, and press out, roll up, come back to the side, and up. Legs are gonna be straight. This is the final exercise. Put the bolster right here on your thighs. You're gonna open up about hip distance apart, you're gonna sit straight up on the tush, stack your boxes, lift the ribs, pelvis, and head in line, and lift them up. And exhale, just the head and the rib cage. You're gonna round forward, you're gonna to reach to the toes. Stretch out that back. Inhale, pull your shoulder blades back. Sit straight up. And again. And up, you have one more. And roll on up. Get to sit Taylor style, push forward and just hang out.
Rise on up. Reverse your cross. This is to, good to stretch out the piriformis. And roll on up. And you guys are done. So tell me about Roo Studio. Studio Roo was started about 22 years ago. And uh, when I went through, there was no difference between the medical and the fitness, and now there's a huge difference. Okay. So what I do is, Pilates has a lot of medicinal value to it. Right. It's not just about coming and doing the choreography. You have to know what the injury is, how it relates to movement. Mm -hmm. And so what we do at Studio Roo is we pull out those medicinal values and really target it in with doctor protocol so that it can actually be a form of holistic healing. Great, so why do you think Pilates is so important opposed to a different type of exercise? It really, it's no better than any other ones, mm -hmm. but what, a, Pilates is really not meant to be a do-all, be-all. Mm -hmm. It's meant to be in, done in conjunction with other things. Okay. Great. So Pilates is very, very specific. It helps, it's very balanced. Yes. It's the perfect form of strength and flexibility training simultaneously. Okay. And we're always working on uh, the quality of movement instead of the quantity. Gotcha. So I don't want you flopping around. I need you in line doing it very controlled. Okay. And so that's it works out perfect if you're going to be playing tennis. You can hit the ball right For where sure. you need it. And, you know. Okay. So tell me, um, what else do Studio Roo um, offer? We offer Juvo board. We offer post rehab training and a group classes and jump board people need to call get on the website and check it out yep tell us how we can how can we find you you get we are at uh 8744 big ben boulevard in webster groves mm -hmm. studioroo.net or they can find us on instagram at pilates stl